the online course on collaborative contracts in the oil and gas uh, sector is a very, very important, uh, a cornerstone really, of the commercial side of our uh, LLM offering. The oil and gas industry is obviously a very competitive industry, as one would expect of any high value industry, but it's also, at least in some senses, a collaborative industry. And the main reason why that is so is because of risk. There is a risk that what looks like a very promising project can just fall at the first hurdle. You drill the hole and there's nothing there. The tendency that the industry has is to spread risk. And it spreads risk by, um, or individual companies spread risk by taking percentage shares in a large number of projects rather than taking a 100% stake in one project. The lawyers get involved. And the lawyers get involved to help them build the legal arrangements that allow that uh, collaboration to happen, that cooperation to happen. And this happens in a number of different ways at different stages of the project. Um, JOAs are fundamental to oil and gas operations, both in the UKCS and uh, more widely. So we look at key issues in joint operating agreements, um, the entitlement to vote, uh, what happens if the parties end up in fundamental disagreement about how the project should develop, what happens if one of the parties runs out of money uh, and ends up in, in default. So these are some of the core issues that we'll look at. And we'll also look at uh, unitization and unit operating agreements. Um, that's what happens. The government tends to insist that parties enter into these when you've got a particular oil field that straddles two or more licensed areas. They want that area to be unitized, in other words, developed as a coherent whole. That is an extremely complex thing to achieve legally, um, and uh, there are a whole host of challenges uh, that, uh, that one has to grapple with there that this course uh, will uh, at least introduce. Anyone who's really interested in commercial oil and gas um, activities or oil and gas law should, should take this course. I view it as a real sort of um, cornerstone course of our, of our offering. Um, it's of great relevance to oil, all oil and gas lawyers, but also um, anyone that wants a commercial role within an oil company. It's a 15 credit course, which um, denotes a 150 hour um, student commitment um, across the 12 weeks of the course. That includes um, all elements of assessment as well as, the, as, as well as just interacting with the teaching. It's quite a significant commitment. Um, it's quite a detailed course, um, but it's a commitment that's well worth making because it really does deal with a fundamental issue in oil and gas law.